Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Maybe I'm looking like that because of the message. But anywho, the message is look outside. They thought it. Okay? They thought it. They up to some harlotry. The scripture comes from Proverbs 11 and 7. Hope's place and mortals die with them. All the promise of their power comes to nothing. The righteous person is rescued from trouble and it falls on the wicked instead. Mm, with their mouths, the godless destroy their neighbors, but through knowledge, the righteous escape. When the righteous prosper, the city rejoices. When the wicked perish, there are shouts of joy. Through the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted. By the mouth of the wicked, it is destroyed. So here's the message. Oh! So for somebody, for somebody, for somebody, for somebody, there was a plot. Okay, there was a plan. There was a scheme. There is, There was a wicked person. There's a wicked person. That plotted your demise. And see, they plotted your demise because they want you to be a thought. They, they want you to be up to some harlotry. But because you are of God, because you are a child of God, it is not going to come to pass. It's not going to come to pass today. It's not going to come to pass tomorrow. It ain't going to be next week and it won't be next year. It won't be five years from now. It won't be 10 years from now. God said no and it's a hard no. God said it's a no and it's a hard no. Okay, if they want to carry on their life doing that, they can carry that their business. But they cannot put you in the place where they want. Like God said, no. It's a no and it's a hard no. It's a no and it's a hard no. It's a no and it's a hard no. God said hopes placed and mortals die with them. All the promise of their power comes to nothing. God said this is a hope that they gon is they gonna take this one to the grave. It's not happening. This is a this is a dream, a fairy tale that is never gonna come to pass. The righteous person is rescued from trouble and it falls on the wicked instead. God says this is not something that like you you would that it is not happening. They gonna have to let it go. It's not happening. God said, no, that is not your portion. That is not your portion. That is not your portion. It's not your portion today, and it won't be your portion tomorrow. It won't be your portion next week. It won't be your portion next month. It won't be your portion next year. It won't be your portion in five years. It won't be your portion in 10 years. It won't be your portion in 20 years. It is not for you, says the Lord. Okay, God said with their mouths, the godless destroy their neighbors, but through knowledge, the righteous escape. This could be somebody that has been trying to get you to gossip about your neighbors. They may have been trying to get you to gossip about people around you. And you just, you know, you may, you, you hear what they saying. They got all these negative and nasty things to say about people. And you just, oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, that's your opinion. It is what it is. You say what you want to say, but you you not the kind of part. You don't just sit there and try to drag nobody. You may laugh, okay? You may giggle. We human, but we peoples. But I just feel like for whoever you are, you are not the kind of person where you're just going to sit there and talk down on nobody like that. You're not going to just sit there and be nasty and mean to anybody. Because you, you don't... When I, I just feel like when you're a righteous person, you don't see everybody as bad and you don't always try to pull out the bad thoughts in everybody. You see some good, too. That's why you try to you try to make a relationship work. You know that they doing you wrong. You know, they doing this. They doing that. They always into this and they always into that. And they refuse to let that go. And they refuse. But you try. You try. You would prefer to try to work it out than to just call it quits. You try. And sometimes it's it, you it's pointless. Sometimes that you get to the point where you like, okay, I tried. And then I tried again. And then I tried again. But they just not gonna change. And it is what it is. 
But God is saying you're not the kind of, you are not the person like in order for this person's trap to work, you would have to be a certain way that you are not. You're not going to just sit down and talk down on nobody. You're not going to just sit down and, and, and say that people are nasty or people are mean or this is bad and that is bad. You, you just like, oh, okay, I guess that's how you feel. That's fine if that's how you feel. When the righteous prosper, the city rejoices. When the wicked perish, there are shouts of joy. God is saying that you are the kind of person that people want to see you do well. People want to see you do well. And it's not because, it, it, like, it, it, it's simply because of the kind of person you are. You are sweet. You are kind. You don't go about trying to make life miserable for anybody. You don't go about trying to gossip about everybody. You don't go about trying to concern yourself with what everybody got going on in their life. That's their business. And it's cool. You may go to them and talk to them about God from time to time, but you're not the kind of person to where you're just being mean and hateful to somebody just because they live this way or they live that way. It is what it is. Through the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked, it is destroyed. So um, God is saying that this person has been causing a lot of pain. Somebody, they cause a lot of pain. They haven't just been causing pain to you. They cause pain to a lot of people. Um, and that's just what it is. And regardless if this is a spouse, a spouse that has been doing a lot of things behind your back, it could be a family member that has been doing a lot of things behind your back. It could be a friend that has been doing a lot of things behind your back. And you didn't know that this person was doing these things. But lo and behold, long story short, there's somebody that was trying to pull you into being a street walker. They trying to pull you into living a life of sin. They trying to pull you into living a way that you don't want to live. You don't want to live that way. You are not interested in going out on dates with nobody. You for sure not interested on walking certain street corners and, and standing on the side of the road. You not interested in going to club here, this club, that club, and the third trying to scout and see who you can find. You not interested in any of these things. And this person is trying to get you to a place to where you have no choice or where you feel as though you have no choice. God said it's not going to come to pass because he covers you, because he got you. And it's not your portion. It's not your portion today. It's not your portion tomorrow. It's not your portion next week. It's not your portion next month. It's not your portion next year. It's not your portion in five years. It's not your portion in 10 years. It won't be your portion in 20 years. It will never be your portion. If that is what this person want to do, they can go on about their business. If that is what they are interested in, that's their ski low, they can go on about their business. But it's not your portion. And God is saying like it, it's just simply not. It's just simply not. God says the righteous person is rescued from trouble. So regardless to the, if this is a situation where you don't even want to hang out with this person anymore. You may not be able to point uh, pinpoint why. But it's something that, that rubs you the wrong way about them. Maybe you feel like you are turned off from this spouse all of a sudden. You don't know why you're not interested in them no more. You don't know why you're not interested in going to, to meet up with them. You don't want to go on no dates with them. You don't want to go hang out with them. You was talking about, y'all was talking about this. Y'all was talking about that. Now, all of a sudden, you're not, you like, nah. God said he is protecting you from them. Because they trying to drag you into something that you don't want to be interested in. You don't want to be involved in. They they trying to they trying to put pull you in somewhere and put you somewhere that you don't want to be. And if you don't want to do something, you are very well not going to be forced to do it. Not as long as you're not doing it, not only because you don't want to, but also uh, for the sake of God, for Christ's sake. God said no. And it's a hard no. They're going to have to just let that go. They, they can go on about their business. It's not your portion. And if that's what they want to do, that's their business. But it's not what you want to do. 
and they can't force you to do it. And that's the message. This is somebody they were trying to pull you into this. God said you saw it. It was all around you. Whenever you hang out with this person, you were able to see what was going on behind closed doors. You were able to see what people were really doing. And you realize this. And it, 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 it turns you off. You, you stop wanting to hang out with them. You stop wanting to date them. You stop wanting to go around them. They started trying to make people hate you so that these people would turn on you. And God moved you away from there. In reality, you were not the kind of person they were trying to pin you out to be. This could be somebody they went around to everybody in the neighborhood saying they was going to do this, that, and the third to you. They was going to have you like this. They was going to have you like that. But it was not your portion. God said it will not come to pass. It's not going to come to pass tomorrow. It's not going to come to pass next week. It won't come to pass next month. It won't come to pass next year. It won't be in five years. It's not going to happen in 10 years. This is a dream and a fairy tale. One that they're going to take to the grave. Because it is not your portion. And that's the message. Okay, regardless of who it is. Regardless of who it is, for somebody I feel hard, this is a spouse. But it could very well be a friend or a family member. But God said it's a dream and it's a fairy tale. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.